How a Vapor Compression Refrigeration System Works. The major components are the compressor, the condenser, the throttle valve, and the evaporator. All four of these components are connected by connecting pipes, creating a closed loop system. The main purpose of the vapor compression refrigeration system is to create a continuously cooling effect in the evaporator. The evaporator is the component where the cooling or refrigeration takes place. First, the compressor compresses the vapor refrigerant inside the compression chamber. As pressure increases, the temperature increases. The high pressure, high temperature vapor refrigerant will leave the compressor and enter the condenser through the connecting pipe. When the high pressure, high temperature vapor refrigerant enters the cold condenser, the condenser absorbs the heat from the vapor refrigerant and completely converts it into liquid. The now high pressure, high temperature liquid refrigerant leaves the condenser and enters the throttle valve through the connecting pipe. When the high pressure, high temperature liquid refrigerant is expanded in the throttle valve, the pressure between the molecules decreases. Thus, the temperature decreases. We now have low pressure, low temperature liquid refrigerant. In practical use, we do not only get liquid refrigerant, we actually obtain a mixture of low pressure, low temperature, liquid and vapor refrigerant coming out of the throttle valve. When the low pressure, low temperature liquid and vapor refrigerant enters the evaporator, it will absorb all of the heat present in the surface of the evaporator by absorbing all of the heat from the surrounding region. The cold chilled liquid refrigerant will completely turn into low pressure, low temperature vapor refrigerant inside the evaporator coils. The low pressure, low temperature vapor refrigerant will leave the evaporator and enter the compressor through the connecting pipe to start the cycle over again.